it's time for your monthlies. My name is Kiana Thompson. I'm the owner of Holistic Harmony, Mind, Body, and Soul, a solution-focused therapy agency with 100% satisfaction in building quality, passionate relationships. And last but not least, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. You are air sign. You are cardinal. You are ruled by Venus. Um, if your birthday is between 9-23 and 10-22, or if you have a prominent placement, Moon, Ascendant, Venus, or Jupiter, these messages could resonate with you as well. <clears throat> Libras are very gracious. They definitely can hold a grudge. They love harmony, and they don't really like injustice. Got to be fair. Libras are all about fairness. All right, let's get your space set up with the Divine Love Kit. We're going to use the Moon Water. We're going to use the wine, sage, um, peacock love. Okay. That's all you know what telling me to grab. I am an intuitive reader. So what comes up comes out. Okay. Take what resonates, leave what does not. If it don't make sense, if it don't fit, don't force it. These are general messages. We just gonna see what's coming out. Maybe some love, maybe some money. And if we're lucky, it's a little bit of both. All right, all right. The universe always lets you know what you need to know when you need to know it. So these messages are timing. So no matter when you hear it, I am doing the month of September, but y'all listen. When you get this, it's right when you're supposed to. Okay, okay. Libras, y'all know I always say, y'all are so beautiful. Oh, I love a Libra. Only got one Libra placement. Um, my Pluto is in Libra. And that's a generational thing. The generation I was in, Pluto was there. Um, this is the moon water infused with lavender and orange. The love oil infused with sandalwood and um, Ylang Ylang. I feel like I'm saying Dang Ylang. <laughs> I wasn't saying dig a lady though, but hey. All right, so we're going to be using the Animal Tarot, the Energy Oracle, and the Kiana Sad Deck, okay? We're going to be using all of those. Then I'll get your Oracle card at the end for a last word of wisdom. Let's see what you got going on, Libras. Uh-oh, y'all got some toxic behaviors. Ow, okay, okay. Or you could just be, uh, you know, uh, having some Capricorn energy around you. You're coming more into a peaceful time, though. I feel like if you did have some toxicity, what's this about? Oh, whoa. Lots of, uh, could be having some anxiety, some sleepless nights. You about to have some sudden changes, though. All oh, that's about to change, boo. But I feel like it's going to change for the better. I feel like you're going to come into more peace. But before you get to the peace, before you get to the upswing, we are in Mars retrograde. So there may be some things that come up that need to come out um, first. That's probably why I like the sudden changes. But your luck is changing. going up. You're coming into an upswing. Everything is still about divine timing. Everything that's happening is supposed to be happening. It's here to teach you something, teach you a lesson. Okay, I see you. Yeah, you're going to be moving away from things that don't serve you. You're going to be getting um clear, getting clarity, getting victory. You're going to be moving into some nurturing and some loving energy. You could be dealing with a, a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. So. But lots of information coming in. Getting more in balance with your money, with your work-life balance. Love us. Yes. Hidden truths sensuality, sexuality, and just lots and lots of blessings. So you know, yeah, like I said, sudden changes is definitely happening, but it's coming to bring you peace. It's coming so that you can have all that happiness. So you don't have to worry. Stop thinking so hard. Stop being attached to things that don't serve you, people, places, and things. You have to be loved. You have to remember that you are surrounded by love um, and that you're also surrounded by money. Okay? Okay? Come on, money, Libras. Stop being indecisive. So people always think that Libras are indecisive. It's not that you guys are indecisive. It's just that you need fairness. You can see both sides. So you need to find your balance, right, with that. So don't be indecisive. 
like I said, people could be mad right now. We are in um Mars retrograde, so people could be mad. You could be mad at people, you could be feeling yourself flaring up. You could be feeling like you just can't catch a break that you just all tied up, but it's okay. Just think things through before you do them. And remember that everything that you pray for is on the way. So don't be doing things that are blocking. Stay strong. Um during these next two months, stay very strong. Um, and you know, focus on your money. Libra, Libra, Libra. Let's get your cards laid. I don't do reversals. I always find I'm saying that as soon as a card turns reverse. But I don't normally do reversals. I think the cards say enough standing up. But your cards are, I'm making sure that they're not, they're not. They're coming out that way. So I'm going to take them. We don't talk about it. The tower wanted to come out again. I did see it in a pre-shuffle. And it wants to come out again, but it didn't. We'll see. Mmm. That anxiety I was seeing came back out. Okay. So the tower didn't come back out, but it wanted to. So we're definitely going to be having some changes. Okay. All right. All right. Ooh, Libra, we're going to be getting into it. I don't think it's bad though. I think it's actually, like I said, things are, are about to turn around for you. Mm. Yes! I love when I see a car a lot of times. Um, a good, beautiful card, and then it comes out. <laughs> I'm all happy for you. I'm all like, I'm all like, yes. I'm happy, excited. I'm happy for Let me get your key on the card. Okay, you got a lot of cards when to come out. All right, Libras. So Libras right out the gate, right? You get in, uh, indecision came back out, right? And I, it, it fell out during a pre-show, like literally fell out. Um, and then it popped out again. But you're getting some messages that's coming in that's causing you to be indecisive. Or if it could be some gossip. You could just be getting some information. I feel like sometimes this comes out as a gossip card. Like, for some reason, I'm going to see exactly what this message is. But it's causing you some indecision. It's causing you to be strong, needing to be strong. Let's see what this message is about. What's this? Why is this page of swords here? Is this, is this positive? What are we doing with this page of swords? Hmm. Fast moving, fast talking. I don't feel like, I feel like it's gossip. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's some, Okay. So you're having a message coming in from somebody or gossip that's coming in, some fast talking, fast moving, um, you know, for lack of a better term, bullshit that's going to be coming your way. But it's going to cause you to split your energy. I don't know why it's causing you to split your energy. Maybe because you're going to be so upset about this gossip that's coming in. Maybe it's telling you something, you know, that somebody said something about you or, you know, whatever. Gossip. It's gossip, right? So it's going to be coming in. It's not going to be good. This person is fast talking, fast moving. Um, don't trust them or don't fall. It, it's almost like, it's almost like misery loves company. Like they're left out in the cold. So they want you to be left out in the cold. Does that make sense? Like, you know, or maybe they, oh, excuse me. Maybe they're mad at a person. So they want you to be mad at a person. Whatever it is, it's not for your good. So don't fall into that trap. Move away from that. Yeah, definitely move away from that because it's it's not it's not no good. So if somebody's coming to tell you something that's gonna cause you to be indecisive to split your energy could be making you upset. You you gonna feel like you don't know what to do. Like you pull between again like that balance part. You pull gonna be pulled between two people or something. But it's just fast talk. You know, take it for what it is. 
but don't get pulled into that mess. Don't get pulled into that. Okay, you stay strong. Because you got a lot of good stuff coming. You got a lot of stuff to be appreciative for. You got the Seven of Swords in reverse. And I'm actually hyper this card came out in reverse. It's not what I... It's, I just say I don't like cards. I, I, like, I love all the cards. But this is one I don't like that much. <laughs> but it came out backwards. So it's actually good. It's like, you know, um, the the lion and the, the gossip. And not, it's over. It's done with. So, like, don't... I feel like even like what you're going to be hearing, it's probably some old stuff, you know, like, you know, stuff you heard or happened, you know, a while ago that you didn't know about. And so you might, you know, you got too much going on to worry about old shit and old lies and old betrayals and old, like, you just need to be in appreciation, stopping the smell of roses, you know, uh, enjoying life. That's what Libras do. You enjoy life. So don't like get caught up seven of swords in reverse can you tell me something about it yeah you already moved away from that yeah i knew it this is old you already moved away from that whether it was um a heartbreak or um like this gossip this friendship whatever this is going on you already moved away from that so you don't have to like you know, go garbage picking. Don't go digging in the garbage. Like, no. Like, when they call you with that bullshit, be like, girl or guy, whatever, dude, bruh. Because you're from Chicago, right? Bruh. Um, we've been there, done that. I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm not giving that no energy. Because it's over and done. When you're in a place of appreciation. And I feel like, like I said, whoever this person is that's coming to you, they don't want to feel left out. They feeling left out because you have moved on. And you're starting a new thing. You're starting a new journey. You want appreciation. You are stopping the smell of roses. You no longer are accepting offers of bullshit, right? You're no longer taking what they got. And they're like, this isn't my Libra. This isn't my... This isn't my person. Yeah, they they want to keep you stuck in a delusion. So they're going to keep spinning the tail. They're going to keep, keep like trying to keep telling the story over and over. Fuck you and your story. How about it? Okay, you moving on. You stay in appreciation. Don't let nobody bring you down, Libra. You're going to have a contract. It looks like it might not go through. Or it might not go as fast as you would like it. I think that's what it is. I think you want it to go fast. You ready to get it signed over it. So if it's a contract, like you're moving, buying a house, marriage, whatever. Whatever you got to sign. It's not going as fast as you would like it. Let's see why. Hmm. Yeah, it's not ready yet. But I feel like it's getting ready. I feel like it's not... There's a lot of people involved in this. I got I got you here. Okay. Maybe it's a divorce, Libra. <laughs> Maybe it's a divorce and that's it's not going as fast as you would like because you have this King of Pentacles here and King of Pentacles could be, you know, Earth, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I feel like they're still trying to like, you know, play this game is I still love you game and you like I'm over I'm done with it let's just do what we got to do with this um you're moved on uh oh you are moved on to a vibrational match and that could be with all this lying and cheating and stuff like you already moved past this and they're trying to hold you up oh <sighs> Libra like because I know how loving you are Libra and I know how friendly you are like you're gonna have to like have faith and move forward and heal. And you could be moving out from this person or moving in with this um, king or king or queen of swords. Because you're showing up too. So um, depending on you masculine or feminine watching this. Both the king and queen of swords has come out. Which is air energy. Which is a vibrational match as well. I love to see that. But I feel like, like I said, this thing isn't moving the way you want. So you're going to get a message about. You might even find out that you're not divorced. You thought you were. Sorry. Um. But that's for some. That's very specific. So it's not for everybody. But you might find that you're not actually divorced. You thought you was, but you're not. Or you might be in process of trying to do this thing. And your person 
um, is blocking it. It's not going as fast as you would like it to go. But you already moved on. You already with somebody. You're just like waiting for the ink to dry. Um, you and your person, y'all are like, you know, doing some healing work and, you know, moving forward. Could be moving in together. You could be buying a house together or something like that or a lease or something. You guys could be moving together and somebody's blocking it. But it's going to happen. That's what I like about this. Even though it has like a little blockage here, um, it's not moving as fast. It's okay. It's not supposed to. It's still divine. Even we have blocks sometimes. Um, it's just we might need to get some more lesson. We might have to figure something out. You know what I'm saying? Um, energetically. But it's okay. Maybe the, the house isn't ready yet. It needs to be, you know, fixed up or something. But it's definitely going to work out. You're definitely being asked to trust and have faith because it's going to work out. So whatever that is, whether that's a divorce that you thought happened that didn't, whether it's a house you're trying to get together with your mate, you know, it's going to work out. It's just taking a little time. The cops outside. You don't have... My bad. So... You are definitely having to make some choices. And probably, like I'm saying, it, I feel like it's just not in love. I feel like it's in love and friendship for you, Libra, because that's just how you are. You love and you're friendly. <laughs> so I feel like you got some decisions to make, some passionate choices. You're all tied up. But you're needed. You get, okay. You're needed to get into balance. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're winning. Yeah. You're going to be doing really good. Okay, so listen. I feel like something bit me or something. I don't know. Okay. Okay, you're all tied up. You need to make a decision. You need to like figure out like which way you go, what to do. And again, find the fairness, find the balance. Get outside of your head. Um, Stop tying yourself up when you need to find balance. And just get into balance. Get aligned. If you get aligned with fairness, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Okay? That's how you, that's what's going to help you. So, like, most times people got to make the choice. They got to use, they, you know, passion, right? Which is cool. You're going to have passionate choices. Um, but for you, you're going to have to, how you decipher is going to be through fairness. What balances you out? What feels balanced for you? What brings you more stability? What brings you more, you know, love? You got a king of um, cups came out again. I remember that you had that earlier too. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm sorry. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Real strong. Air signs, real strong. And also um, Capricorn is real strong in your read. And Aries. So you were dealing with anybody. But they're very, it's gonna bring you more love and stability. I feel like I'm gonna be getting messages from this person. I feel like you all tied up about this thing or this situation that's good that's going on, especially with this this moving forward with your with your soulmate person. You're gonna be getting more communication from it. Like this is gonna move forward. You're gonna feel more in balance. Like things are gonna be happening. So like there's a lot of stuff that's happening that got you kind of like bound up or feeling like you cannot move, like you're stuck. But it's going to stable out. Um, your person is going to definitely be loving all up on you during this process. And you're going to be getting the information coming in saying, you know, it's like if it's you selling the house, it's sold. If it's you getting divorced, you divorce. If it's you buying the house, you, you know, we're closing. Like you're going to be getting all these messages coming in saying what it is that um, you've been waiting for. All your wishes are going to be being fulfilled, Libra. Like you're going to be so... Um, so good and stable and secure so you don't have to worry you just have to get into balance and it's gonna you're, you're gonna get there it's gonna you're balancing out very nicely but you're stuck in your head and libra you know, you're an air sign so libras talk a lot um so just be mindful of your words be mindful of the words that you're saying um because you, you know, your mouth, your speaking could be how you make your money. You could be a speaker. You could be, you know, just doing business deals and contracts and things like that. But you got a lot of money coming at you. 
I feel like it's going to be coming because you're the way you speak. Are you going to speak highly of yourself? So you don't have to worry. You don't have to be all anxious about it. Just speak your truth. Just be you. Just be truthful. Just be fair and you'll be fine. You're going to make all the money. Door of value is open. You could already be making all the money. You can see the money trickling in. Door of value is open. Queen of Cups, Nurturing Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could just be you nurturing and loving um, or somebody that's helping you. could be a business partner or something like that. Yeah, passion and new beginnings, new starts. You got the full card a lot of times. This is definitely something you've never done before. This is you taking a journey. This is you trusting yourself. This is you finding fairness in your life, finding balance. It's you speaking with passion. It's you just loving with passion. Yes, Libra. All your wishes are being fulfilled. Like nine of cups again. Like you straight like winning. You don't have time for the gossip. You don't have time for the garbage picking. Because like you got so much good stuff. Like whoever this person is, like that this friend that wants to keep you like in y'all old ways, either they got to level the fuck up or they got to get out your way. You got to get them out your life, okay? Because listen... We about to level up, Libra, and you is leveling up. You is taking a leap of faith. You is starting something new, and it's going to work out really lovely for you. You could be moving, like I said, um, going on a trip. You could be taking a trip. I know it's a pandemic, but that don't really stop trips. I've been on a couple already, and I'm going on another one next week. <laughs> so you could be taking a trip. You could be moving. You could be uh, getting up, you know, moving for your work or something like that. But I feel like what you're doing, I feel like honestly what's happening with you, Libra, is that you're just moving into a space of self-love, right? You're moving away from self-sabotage and toxic behaviors and um, it's more into stability. Yeah, you're moving away from that shit that wasn't working. You're moving dead away from... Um, being stuck in your head. Any addictions, any codependency to anything or, you know, any people, you know, codependency comes in so many different forms. So drugs, alcohol, sex, you know, lovers. Yeah, heartbreak, you know. Being stuck in your old head, arguing, fighting, being petty. Yeah, you moving away from some stuff, child. Woo. You moving on out the way, which is good. You on a spiritual journey. You moving away from all of that to victory. <laughs> okay, that's why I'm telling you, you ain't got time. You moving away from being stuck in your own head, feeling stuck and stagnant in your life, feeling like you're not moving nowhere, feeling like you can't move forward, arguing and fighting, cussing people out, people cussing you out, being mad at you, you being mad at them, um, you know, backstabbing, friends that stab you in the back, friends that want to gossip about you behind your back, you know, br bad breakups with your lover, right? Toxic situations and relationships. You're moving away from all of that, Libra, to ultimate total victory right so like you know i'm really hearing in my head you know uh i think that's is that Nicki minaj when she says she shit it on yes okay so you know i'm hearing it in my head right now because i feel like everybody who was like trying to keep you down want you to stay in a low vibration like you finna be shitting on them libra like you moving away from it. they're gonna be like how did she or he even do that like what how did they come up like that because they thought that you wasn't they thought that you was gonna stay low vibrating with them and that's not what's happening you're raising and maintaining your own vibration and you are straight winning you're getting victory you're getting attention you're getting accolades you get all the money you getting a home, you getting a love, you moving. And they're like, she on another trip? He on another trip? Yes, and boo, you securing the whole bag, okay? And you having fun, you enjoy life. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Whew, all right, Libra, what cards you get? Moon, okay. You get a moon card. Get your moon card. I'm gonna read your Kiana cards. 
We gonna close out y'all really. Well, this was beautiful. Yes. See, it didn't make sense to me because I was like, no, they should get a life purpose card because this feels like life purpose, right? Like, um, oh, okay. But it makes sense when I got the card. I was like, oh. <laughs> so what you got? Confidence is your key to success. Come on, Libra. You got to be confident in yourself. Because you got this. You ain't the old person. You're not that old vibration no more. They can't call you with another one. Say, fuck the man they story, okay? You ain't got time for neither one. And a new romantic cycle begins. And I love this because I feel like, and it's new moon in Libra. I want to show you because this, this is your own card. But listen, I feel like this new romantic cycle is with you. Like you're in love with yourself. And so you're going to come into just a higher vibration and frequency. And everything that you've been wishing for is on that frequency. So it's beautiful. Your Kiana said cards. I stop blaming other people for my life choices. I hold myself accountable as the master creator of my life. What I tell you? What I tell you? You got to listen. Stop fooling with them people. I choose to live a life full of joy and purpose. Because of this, I have to use my rock bottom for what it's for. Spiritual transformation. Come on, Libras. Transform. It's so much easier to be me. Yay! You got this, Libra. You are absolutely positively winning okay all right y'all i hope y'all enjoyed the read anything that you need to get in contact with me to get a personal read to join my private coaching group to get a kiana said deck to get a divine love kit it's all in the description all right please like subscribe and share let me know how these messages resonate with you comment let me know boop, 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 boop. peace out